Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth be silent in his presence. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his holy word, to bring before him the needs of the world, to ask his forgiveness of our sins, and to seek his grace, and through his Son, Jesus Christ, may give ourselves to his service. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Let us in silence examine ourselves before the Almighty God. Together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of our Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive all that is past and grant that we may serve you in the nearness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Amen. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Amen. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. Amen. And keep us in life eternal Amen. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Psalm 46 shall be read in alternate verses. Why we take verse 11 together? Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Though the waters rage and foam, and though the mountains quake at the rising of the sea, God is the means of our therefore. She shall not be moved. God will help her, and at break of day. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear and burns the chariots in the fire. All of us. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The first lesson for this service is taken from the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter 8, commence the reading from verse 15, Genesis chapter 8 from verse 15. 
and God spake unto Noah, saying, Go forth of the ark, thou and thy wife, and thy sons, and thy sons' wives with thee. Bring forth with thee every living thing that is with thee, of all flesh, both of fowl and of cattle, and of every keeping thing that creepeth upon the heart, that they may breed abundantly in the heart, and be fruitful, and multiply upon the heart. And Noah went forth, and his sons, and his wife, and his son's wife with him. Every beast, every creeping thing, and every fowl, and whatsoever creepeth upon the heart, after their kind, went forth out of the ark. And Noah builded an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savour. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again cause the ground any more. For man's sake, for the imagination of the man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Why the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold, and heat, and summer, and winter, and day, and night shall not cease. This is the word of the Lord. second lesson for this service is taken from the book Acts of the Apostle chapter 19 beginning at verse 1 Acts of the Apostle chapter 19 and it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth Paul having passed through the upper coast came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues, and prophesy. This is the word of the Lord.
Namaste. I wish every one of us happy Sunday. And I pray that as we are going through this week, the presence of God will journey with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Our gracious Father, we are indeed grateful for another opportunity of coming together to worship you. As we are going to your world, we pray that you will speak to our lives. Amen. We declare that through your word, our lives will not and never remain the same. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The theme before us, showing proof of our calling. And I would like to take the test from the lesson read. Acts of Apostles chapter 19 verse 6 Acts of Apostles chapter 19 verse 6 And when Paul had laid his hands upon them the Holy Ghost came on them and they spake with tongues and prophesied, prophesied showing proof of our calling as christians and believers in christ we have been set apart and called for a purpose we are called to work worthy of the calling but the question is what is the calling and how do we work worthy of it how do we prove it and how do we begin the process of taking up the role that God has created us to inhabit? When Jesus was born among the Jews, he asked them to challenge their established ways of doing things. This put him at loggerheads with the scribes and Pharisees who were devoted to keep the old way. When we accept Jesus Christ, we immediately join that fight against the way we do things in the past because the way the way world wants us to do things is in direct opposition to how God wants us to do it and as Christians we have to make a choice or decision we are called to come out of the darkness of the world and away from the world's way of doing things. We are called into a relationship with God. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, the Bible says, you are, choosing, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, God's own people, that you may declare the wonderful deeds of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light it further says once you were nobody but now you are god's people once you had you had not received mercy but now you have received mercy therefore way of our lives before and now must be totally different because by the virtue of our calling we doesn't belong to the world when we accept and agree with Jesus, Jesus death on the cross as an atonement for our sins, we are making a pledge to live a manner that gives justice to a sacrifice. We are saying that we understand the price he paid on our behalf. And while we are not saved by our behavior, or actions we will live the rest of our life in a way that gives meaning to his sacrifice how then do we prove the genuineness and reality of our calling number one true gentleness the oxford dictionary defines gentleness as the quality of being kind tender etc Kindness is a great underrated in this world. Yet, people
people realize that it is one of the greatest gifts we can give to each other. That is why we have things like random acts of kindness, challenges, and a day that focuses on, on us being kind to each other. When we are kind, especially in a world that expects otherwise, we are pointing people to our Savior. Jesus treated the people of Jerusalem, even in disguise and Pharisees, with kindness. People of God, you are showing and proving the authenticity and genuineness of your calling when you are kind to others. Two, perseverance. A person who perseveres is one who remains constant, faithfully doing the things he or she needs to do, regardless of what people think, say, or do. Because such person knows that vengeance belongs to God. So you can confirm that in the Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 35 3 unity as christians we are fascinated by the idea of the pentecost we marvel about the appearing of the holy spirit and look forward to the day when it will be repeated in our own time the unity of the desire of the apostles was a big deal the differences they had experienced as they walked with Christ were temporarily forgotten and their purposes were the same to wait for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. For, for be in peace with all men. One of the things Christ promised his followers then was a peace unlike anything the world has to offer. John chapter 14, verse 27. This peace Christ offers is one that we need every day of our life because there is always something trying to stress us out like war, threat of war, unemployment, life-threatening diseases, etc. But when we have this peace that Christ offers, we learn to live peacefully with all men. We use soft words, the kind which turns away anger, instead of harsh ones that stir up strife. Five, we should not entertain fear. When God called people in the Bible and gave them a big job, he also gave them some encouragement because he knows how scared we will be to try a new thing. Also knows that we cannot do it alone. For example, when Moses was apprehensive about facing the elders and explaining God's mission, he wanted God's name. He had, is the here is the response of God to Moses at that particular time. Exodus chapter 3 verse 14 says, And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am, I have sent me, he has sent me to you. This was God promised that he will be what, whatever Moses needed to be to be able to fulfill his mission. When Jeremiah was scared to speak out against the people, God gave him admonition that do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 8. Brethren, when you and I decided to prove the genuineness of our calling, 
we should not be afraid to do that because God who has called us is right there to encourage us to support us and to provide everything needed to do so just trust and rely on him therefore people of God go outside let us, we should go outside there as children to be a light of the world make sure make your calling sure work worthy of the calling which you have been called given it is a prayer that the holy spirit will be our guide in the name of jesus christ let us pray our gracious Father, we, are, we thank you for the world, for your word in which you are sent unto us. Thank you for making us the purpose of our calling. Lord, accept our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are listening to you, Father, we pray the enablement to do according to your word that we release unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. going to confess the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and heart, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of and the life everlasting. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord's Prayer. Will be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. As it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. And forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O oh Lord, show your mercy upon us. O oh Lord, 
guide and defend our rulers. And do your ministers with righteousness. O oh Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O oh Lord. O oh God, make clean our hearts within us. They call it for this Sunday and this week. And all that call it. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who anointed Jesus at his baptism with the Holy Spirit and revealed him as your beloved Son, inspire us, your children, who are born of water and the Spirit, to surrender our lives to your service, that we may rejoice to be called your sons through Jesus Christ our Lord. O oh God, the author of peace and lover of concord, the knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all our sort of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh Lord, our heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant us this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always what is righteous in your sight, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the continuations of our prayers, we shall pray for our country, Nigeria, the church universal and other prayers the lord be with you let us pray almighty god who has given us this good land for our heritage we humbly pray you that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of your favor and glad to do your will Bless our land with honorable industries, sound learning, sound mind, and pure manners. Save our land from violence. Save us from discord and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend our liberties and fashion into one united people, the multitude brought either out of many kindreds of tongues we beseech thee to endure with the spirit of wisdom our president muhammadu his vice yemi the governor of this state dapo and our honorable chairman honorable shuaib and those who are in the authority that they may through their leadership ensure peace and justice these we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gracious Father, we pray for your holy apostolic and Catholic Church. Fill it with all truths and with all peace. Where it is corrupt, purify it. Where it is in error, correct it. Where it is in anything that is amiss, reform it. Where it is right, strengthen it. Where it is in wants, provide for it. Where it is divided, reunite it. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. We equally ask thee, O Lord, to strengthen the leadership of our church as we pray for Henry, a primate, Humphrey, a hard bishop, Babatunde our bishop and all our leaders that you will by your spirit guide them to do all that is acceptable before you. This we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, send down upon all our members those within a diaspora 
the healthful spirit of your grace, and that they may truly please you. Pour upon all of us the continual dew of your blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Brethren, present your petitions to the Lord with faith that you will receive that which you ask from him. Commit your journey this week to the hands of God. Pray that God will guide your path and visit you. That Psalm 46 talks about God being a present help in time of need. That God will be your refuge. He will be your shelter. He will be your wall of defense. And defend your course as you travel through this new week. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. Almighty God, you have given us grace to bring before you with one accord our common supplications, and you promise that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant our request. Fulfill now, Lord, the desires and petitions of your servants, as may be more expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truths, and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life. As one family, let's say the grace together. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs> this offering pray for all your children that this week lord you will bless them oh lord in all their endeavor father let your blessing locate them oh lord thank you heavenly father in jesus mighty name we we'll pray the lord be with you let us pray as we go out this week Psalm 109, verses 26 and 27. I want us to use that place to pray. Let us tell the Lord, Father, go before me this week. Bless me. Let your protection be upon me. Father, let your hand be upon my life. Let your hand be upon my family. Let the whole world know that you are the Lord. Be with us as we go out this week. Let your grace be upon all that we are doing. Talk to God. Commit all your loved ones to the hands of the Lord. Your journey this week. Commit everything to God's hand. Because he is able to protect and to guide us. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your heart and minds the knowledge and love of God. And of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be among you and remain with you always.
second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 therefore Christ is a new creation all things pass away behold all things have become new Christ in you Christ in me Christ in all the blessing of the Lord be upon you to this message we believe you have been blessed by the words of prophecy of this message you can send your offering and sites to your local church accounts in the diocese may God bless and increase you greatly in Jesus Christ's name Amen